Good morning, everybody, and welcome to State of the Commonwealth. I'm Conrad Delouche. We are getting you ready to help you make your decision in the upcoming election by looking at topics shaping the future of our state. Election day is on November 5th, and at the top of the ballot, the governor's race between incumbent Matt Bevan, a Republican, and the Democratic candidate, Andy Bashir. They battled in the courtroom as governor and attorney general, and now they fight for the highest elected office in the state. Both Bashir and Bevan have released campaign ads, highlighting their strengths, promises, and also the perceived weaknesses of their opponent. The issue we are discussing on State of the Commonwealth this morning is one that Governor Bevan never shies away from, pro-life versus pro-choice. The lines have been drawn in the sand on this issue for several years. Republican Governor Matt Bevan is pro-life. The Democratic challenger, current Attorney General Andy Bashir, is pro-choice. In just the past couple of months, Bevan has criticized Bashir for taking, quote, blood money from donors linked to Kentucky's only abortion clinic still in operation. They are using monies that they have earned from killing Kentuckians to fund a guy whose job it is to defend the laws of this state, but refuses to do so. Governor Bevan even brought this issue to the forefront at Fancy Farm, where he continuously asked the crowd one question. Which side are you on? One of Bashir's campaign ads focuses on his Christian upbringing and family values. Their faith guided them, just as it guides my work today in helping the lost, the lonely. And in response, Bevan said this. I think it's insulting to the Baptist tradition. I think it's insulting to people of Baptist faith to try to couch what his father, grandfather and great-grandfather did as sort of covering for his pro-abortion stance. A group of religious leaders even wrote an open letter echoing Bevan's criticism, but there were others who came to Bashir's defense. The Bashir campaign said Bevan's attacks against his faith were disgraceful. Bashir himself has been very critical of Bevan's rhetoric and the divisiveness in his speeches. This is from Fancy Farm last month. What you heard from our governor today and what you have seen every day of his administration is trying to create an us versus a them. Andy Bashir is clear in his stance on women's reproductive rights and also what he would do with any restrictive legislation. I'm pro-choice and I support Roe v. Wade. And any bill that came to me as governor uh, banning uh, that procedure, I would veto it and veto it immediately.